In this video, I'm going to teach you what I do to adjust the pigment levels of several of my foundations, as well as what I do to, I would say, adjust the do, depending on that particular formula as well. Now I have various different colors and tones on my face right now, but you can't tell because it's quite uniform. So that's the trick. The first one is what I would say is that traditional foundation mixer and this one I've talked about quite a bit here on the channel but we're talking way back in the years. This is from NYX. It is their pro foundation mixer. Anytime I want to take a foundation and add more of a golden tone to it, add a lot more of that olive tone, that is when I can reach for that. So that's how I adjust it. But now we're going to get into, well, what this video is really about, the dew, the glow. Now the next product here came about by fluke and I'm so glad because after finding this one from L'Oreal, this is their True Match Lumi Glow Lotion, I said knock it off Stephanie when it's like around you know springs coming where I live. I'd be like where's L'Oreal? What's L'Oreal doing for the summer? Because they're probably going to have something in that collection that is going to spot my eye. True Match Lumi also comes in several shades. There's a light, there's a medium, and there's a deep. So here is where I would say you go by whatever one will match closest to your skin tone because this is going to be the adjuster that is really going to help your foundations as far as the color going whether you want to deepen it or whether you want to help kind of adjust it to a shade that is very close to your skin tone. The last one that I want to talk about that is from the drugstore so we're looking more at the drugstore prices is might be a shock to you. It's the Garnier Skin Active Glow Boost Illuminating Moisturizer. Now it only comes in one shade. So the tone of this product has more of that peach undertone to it. So pay attention to that. If you're someone that has a warm undertone or if you also lean more towards the olive side, however, you have a yellow, you can see that in your skin, this one is where you also might want to take a look at because it has that peach tone which is going to be right there in the middle of a warm but not too warm because if it's too warm that's when you can see it turning orange on your skin. Anything that turns orange or you see that red on your skin that will indicate that it's too warm for your undertone. Being the fact that it's peach, that apricot look, it's kind of right there in the middle, kind of teetering warm and I'm going to go a little bit towards the neutral but not cool. The last one is a product that I would say is more high end. It's from Laura Mercier. It is their tinted moisturizer illuminating. Now this has a SPF in it. It is in the shade bronze. So again, multiple skin tone shades. Which one would be the closest to your skin tone that you want to try to adjust? Let's first start off with, I would say that traditional method when you have one foundation that's too light and one that's too dark. In my case, that is the way, whoa, good catch, with Urban Decay's Stay Naked Foundation. I have 60 NN and 71 NN. So the lightest one is what I received when I went to their Stay Naked party. And then the 71 NN is what Urban Decay had sent me. My color though with Stay Naked, I would say that would be the closest match, is number 70 NN. So I'm just going to start to blend it out. Now again, this is the traditional method. Let's go ahead, let's mix it together and hope as long as the shades are within your undertone, they'll match up. So let's say you're not that that lucky. Let's say you're like, oh, I mixed my two together and they didn't turn out that way. What is a beauty person supposed to do? So here is where the mixers come into play. I can take the light one and I can take either the L'Oreal True Match Lumi or I can take the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and because of the tone of either one has that bronze appearance to it, it actually will start to adjust 60. Is it 60 or 61? 60 in in. It will start to adjust it and it will start to make it blend into my skin tone. 
So there you go. This is the Laura Mercier. Notice how it turned the Stay Naked. It added more of that skin-like, changed the texture of it, and it just adjusts, and it has a lot more of that skin-like property to it versus this side here, which has that natural finish, but it looks a lot more matte to me versus how it looks with the Laura. Let's move on to the darker shade now in the foundation, the 71 and in. So what I want to do with this one is I want to up the shade so that it matches up to what 70 in, in would look like on me because I don't have it. So I'm going to put, actually let me just do one pump here since I'm going to be working with actually all three of the products. The Lumi Glow Lotion, I'm just putting them all here on the plate, again has that green, added green bronze tone to it. The Garnier Illuminating Moisturizer has a slight peach tone to it. Now the peach is going to also help to, like I said, teeter-totter between the two undertones. And then again, the Laura, the bronze, is going to give me that nice mix of a neutral as well. So here it is, right here, again, Laura, and we're going to mix that out here and show you that the adjustment of the Laura tinted bronze brings up 70 NN to my skin tone. It just added just the right amount. Now this is the L'Oreal uh, True Lumi. And I just added, same thing, added in just like from the top of the spatula into the um, pea size amount, I'm working with pea size amounts of shades, into 71. And same thing, it just brought up the tone just enough that I need. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I'm actually curious to see which finish is gonna look, so it's something that's gonna look a little bit more dewy or something that's gonna be a little bit more um, hydrating, or is one gonna pretty much stay what the Stay Naked texture is all about. Okay, the last will be the actual um, Glow Boost from Garnier. So again, I'm just gonna take, let me see if I can show you, about that much if it shows, right into the Glow Boost. And because of that apricot, that peach tone, it self-suggests it automatically. See? There it is right there. And then start to blend it out. Now I can already feel on my skin, because I have smooth textured skin, I can already feel what is going to feel the most hydrating or what would feel the most drying or matte, I can, I can already tell. The minute this went down, I could tell that the Glow Boost is going to offer more of that skin-like appearance to uh, 71 and in. There it is. I'm going to add just a little bit more. What the Glow Boost side looks like to me, like just automatically, it not only feels a lot more hydrating, it almost feels like it's a tinted moisturizer. Same texture as the Glow Boost, but it has that pigment added of the Stay Naked foundation. So again, Glow Boost, which looks a lot more brighter too. I can even tell in the viewfinder. I like it with that. In the L'Oreal True Match side, I feel that it stays the same um, foundation texture, the Stay Naked, but I feel that it, it feels the, the most, like the closest to the Stay Naked foundation uh, formula the most with the Laura Mercier. So if I had to say, okay, which one I like better, it would be like this. One, two, three. So just exactly how it is, how I have it on my face. But as you can see, the color tone itself is quite uniform. Last product I wanna talk about is the new ones that are kinda of coming out here, like the hydrating skin tints, those lightweight, light pigment type of very skin forgiving type foundations or moisturizers. In my case, it's the Lancome Skin Feels Good Hydrating Skin Tint. The one I feel that I, I just love it the way that it comes off on my skin. 
is the true match. This one is the best with the honey. I just have to add just a tiny bit, not even a pea size amount. I'll throw in the clip to show you. And I mean, it just self suggests and it just looks beautiful on my skin. Now it also works fine with the other two that I've been showing you too for mixers. However, I feel the best one that really just looks the, the most flattering on my skin. And you'll know that like when you're trying to play around, you'll find one, you'd be like, you know what? This is looks the best is really the True Match Lumi. The goal of this video is to get you to think a lot more outside of what are the products that are marketed as such. Yes, we have something that says it's a foundation mixer, but so we'll get some other things. Pay attention to the tone of that product. If you like something that has the texture you like, great. If it has a tone to it that also helps mimic to your own natural undertone, your skin tone. Think about the way that you can use it in your everyday makeup routine. Not only are you gonna now use up that product, but you're also going to start self-adjusting the shades, whether it's dark, whether it's light, whether it's more of a skin forgiving skin tint like the Lancome. Think about how you can mix it and what would be you know, the right ratio. Usually start out with that pea size, tiny amount mix it together, apply it on your skin, you know, let it take its time to start to dry down and see how it looks on your overall complexion. You might like it, you never know. It's a great way to start using up also your products. Did I just mention that again? Thanks everyone for stopping by and watching. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye everyone.